Hi everybody, it's Rob Z here for RobZTraining.com and in today's video blog post we're going to take a look at one of our current challenges here known as the figure 8 challenge with our Lego Robotics. Now the basic level of this competition involves the Lego robot being programmed to go around one chair and then the opposite way around the other chair known as, if you can imagine, a figure 8 type of shape. So the students already at this point have had demonstrations on how to do turns and straightaways. Now they're basically combining those into one, making a nice arc uh, around chairs. So the basic level is on the floor. It involves going around two chairs. However, I do have an advanced level that you'll see in a couple moments here uh, with some of the footage that I've taken with my iPhone. So the challenge now is we take two stools, put them three feet apart, and we have to make sure that the student figures out where they started because as they're learning that's most crucial is time after time after time that positioning is just as important as the program itself that they've created. Now for the robot to make it around the chair it's not allowed to touch it but it can go as wide around as it needs to so we're kind of working with almost limitless borders around uh, when we're doing the basic level. Now the LEGO NXTs that we are using, I have 10 of them in the class, so students are working in pairs of two or three to do that. They're collaborating on ideas, but really it's the whole class working together as one team to try to get their robot scores to be better than the other class. Because I want to offer a differentiated experience here, we do have a challenge level, and this footage that you're seeing now is showing you that. It is a lot more difficult to get your robot to go around the chairs when they're dealing with perimeters or the walls, the, the two by sixes that I've built in this arena. So the students that can accomplish the advanced level are rewarded by getting triple the point value. So it's kind of a nice incentive that they go for because they realize it could really change the, the course of the outcome um, if they are going for the gold and trying to get those triple level points. So this shot is showing you some suggested programs that they've done. They draw them on the board, they think about you know, what, what, what angles is it going to take, how many steps are going to be involved. They do a lot of calculations first to get the program down in theory before they try the real thing in practice. We do keep score on the spreadsheets, so we can see on a Google Sheet. Um, I used to use a Microsoft Excel for this, but I'm finding that Google Docs is much, much better than Microsoft Office products for a lot of reasons. And one of them is I can share the spreadsheet out with the students, uh, and they can see live updates at any time. So the challenge around the table has been going well. I would say only about 30 to 40 percent of the students are able to figure that one out, but I'd say at least 80 to 90 percent can figure out the basic level um, on the floor event that we are doing. So next up is going to be dealing more with angles and protractors. We have an activity coming up where they're going to have to take the data, the, the key points we've de determined up here on the board, the averages, and calculate out what the robot will perform uh, in theory and then take it out to the um, floor outside the classroom. We're going to kind of have Earth is my classroom and outer space is the hallway. So stay tuned for that. I'll, I'm sure I'll make another video blog post when that one comes up. But we have a lot of great stuff coming up down the road. So feel free to check back at robzytraining.com to follow our progress. Thank you for watching.